All right, so here's my fire kit you guys have seen before. I decided to clip it onto the outside of my pack. This is a, uh, really it's a secondary to the big lighter. And the ferro rod, okay? Redundancy, 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 especially when it comes to fire. But today we're gonna do curtain steel with char cloth. I'm pretty sure everything's inside this kit that I need. Here's our char cloth. Magnifying lens, matches, another lighter, pocket knife. Here's what we're looking for right here. A little piece of flint. So what we're going to do here, oh, since I already showed you everything else, this little front pouch, birch bark, pine needles, jute twine, extra tinder. It's on the outside of the pack. This is not waterproof, but um, Really, this is just fun in the woods, you know. Uh, I'm going to try making some uh, fire in the rain with natural tinder. And I'm also going to try with uh, wet tinder and uh, a few things that I've, I've made and scrounged. So, without further ado, let's process this up a little bit. Gonna be able to get something here. I'll just set that there for now. Got some sticks here and here. Obviously, plenty of stuff around me. SCH F37 Schrade. Good knife. It's got that lump in the handle. I'm gonna grind that out. The new one they came out with, I don't know the model number. It's just like this knife, but it's got a bigger handle with a flat. That's the way to go. If you're gonna buy one of these, get that knife. Okay, so. Flint steel. And have the char cloth. Okay. So what I do here? Hold this over. Set this right on top. I'm sure I don't need this much char cloth, but I got plenty. I got a little bit of a breeze here. I find a nice sharp edge on this. Right. Come over here and put the camera so you can see a little better. Hopefully, Hopefully I can get a spark. our breakfast fire. We're going to cook some oatmeal on this fire, but I just wanted to do a flint and steel fire. Show you guys what it looks like out in the woods. Yep. Yeah. 